A beautiful day in Lake Coeur d'Alene today. We're seeing partly cloudy skies out there, a high around 95, so it was a hot one. We're going to continue seeing these very hot conditions. People out there enjoying this nice weather out on the beach, and we're going to continue seeing that heat. A little bit of shower chances yet tonight, but for the most part, it's going to be a very nice week ahead with some cooler temperatures towards the end, so it's going to be a nice one. 65 tonight with mostly clear skies. Winds out of the northeast 5 to 10 miles per hour tomorrow. 95 is our high. Hot and sunny conditions are returning. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Today it was another hot day. We had a high of 96 in Spokane, a low of 65, a little bit above average for this time of year, usually at 86 for our high and 58 for our low. We're going to get back to that as we head towards the weekend this week. 95 still right now in Spokane. Those winds moving north 8 miles per hour. Coeur d'Alene 93 degrees. Sunny skies as you saw out there. Winds are fairly calm right now. We're going to see those winds pick up as we head into tomorrow. Taking a look at that U.S. satellite radar, the East Coast is seeing some uh, hurricane warnings right now as Hurricane Bertha moves towards them. And then we're going to see fairly calm conditions here in the Northwest. We do have some showers and thunderstorms for the Northeast Mountains yet tonight, as well as northern parts of the Idaho Panhandle. But those are going to start dissipating uh, as we move into the later hours. Tomorrow is going to be very uh, calm and dry as we move through the day. That high pressure is building so tomorrow afternoon we are going to see some winds move into the region we're going to see winds up to 30 miles per hour so that is going to bring us uh, some chances of some fire starts which is why we do have a fire weather watch starting Tuesday afternoon through Tuesday evening because of those windy conditions mixed with the low relative humidity that we're seeing we do have some chances of some fire weather uh, starting in the region so that is for all the counties in orange right there tonight in the 50s and 60s with showers possible to the north near Sandpoint and Bonners Fair 60s for Spokane, 99 in Omak tomorrow, 100 in Moses Lake, hot and sunny conditions. That's what we're going to see as we head through the week as well. 92 in Newport tomorrow, 96 in Spokane Valley, 92 for Coeur d'Alene with sunny skies as well. 89 in Bonners Ferry, 89 in Sandpoint, 96 in Colville, 94 in Deer Park, 89 in Kellogg and Kalispell. They have some chances of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. 99 in Lewiston with partly cloudy skies, 80s in Seattle and Portland tomorrow. Yakima will be at 96, Boise at 87. So another hot day. Everyone is going to stay above average. Those chances of mountain showers continue tonight and then we're going to see more hot weather on the way. We're going to stay in the 90s for most of the week. Thursday we're going to start dropping down. We see that little bit of a cool down Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So back mm -hmm. into the mid uh, upper 80s and then we're going to get another heat wave on Sunday. So just enjoy that <laughs> cooler weather while it's here. It's going to be a nice little break. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. been, it's well, been hot. feel a difference there. Yeah, it's been so mm. hot that I think yeah. it's actually going to feel like almost cold to us. Yeah, you think you so? Know? I don't know. It's, I think it's going to be <laughs> It'll be a nice, nice. A nice yeah. little bit of relief. Thanks yeah. a lot, Alyssa.